So what a lot of actors will do is say, look how awesome my career is. Like, I'm getting these auditions. I'm booking these jobs. Everything's going great over here. Don't you want to get aboard this moving train while you still can? Like, they'll position themselves like their career is just, like you said, the shit. Be like, and then the agent gets to go, looks like things are going great. You don't need me. You've suddenly taken away the job for this person. I don't get to feel any, like, I'm not going to have any any purpose in your career because things are going. And if you, and the other part that I go is, this actor is delusional because if they think those things is what equals a great career and that's all that they want, then they probably are not a fit for me because I got much bigger dreams for them. Not only that, the the agent is going to feel like there's um, you're not going to listen to me because you know everything. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. There's so much to your course. Um it, it is so chock full and I'm, and I, and I haven't taken the course yet, but I'm going to take that course. Um, <laughs> but I'm so excited that you are here in the world helping actors. I, I just want to say that because it, it is, it's so vital. It, it's so vital for actors to have the balance. You know, yeah. you got to be confident, not delusional. You got to be strong, but you got to be vulnerable. You got to be, um, you got to know your business, but you got to be well-crafted. I mean, we have to, we have to balance so much. And, and yeah. you know, it's like acting classes. You only want to take an acting class when you really believe that that acting teacher speaks your language. Because you got to mm -hmm. be vulnerable with that acting teacher. And you don't want somebody who's going to be tyrannical and, and be abusive to you. Neither do you want yeah. an agent because they're the agent of so-and-so who's going to take you on and treat you like crap. Um, you, you want everything to align so that you have the best life possible, right? You, yeah. you want it yeah. all to be uh, delicious. Some days will be better than others, but you want to find that joy going back to that course in miracles. You're going to get the lesson. So either you yeah. get it in a joyful way or in a painful way. I just want to make sure anyone who's listening, if you're getting excited about what we're saying, and Lydia shared this earlier, and I just want to make sure you know, the introduction where you're going to get a ton of knowledge is where she said, makeagentswantyou.com. And that's totally free. So I know we're kind of mixing the course and the free class. I just want to make sure everyone knows that I put that free resource out there intentionally to break through the myths and the mishigas that comes up when it comes to agent search. So makeagentswantyou.com is free and you can watch it on demand like Netflix. And there are great, great, great pearls. He gives such great <laughs> wisdom with that. He gives you some free stuff. So it's not like you're not, <laughs> he's giving you a lot of good, solid stuff. Another piece of gold that you uh, delivered that I love, that it's not about your readiness but about your willingness. Can you unpack amen. that for amen. me? Amen, 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 amen. A Course in Miracles says that a miracle is a shift in perspective. I do not need you to be ready to make this work. I do not need you to be ready to reach out to managers and agents. I do need you to be willing to imagine it'll help in a different way than you think, a different way than it happened for your best friend, a willingness to follow the steps, you do not have to be, I think that readiness is a myth. I think that even the most incredible Olympian in the world who has prepared and practiced and trained their butt off and they go to the Olympics and they get their foot in those little things on the ground when they're about to run or whatever those things are called. I think there is definitely a moment of no matter how ready they are. And that is, I am willing to believe I can do this. I'm willing to believe that something will come from this. Even if the willingness is tiny, I'm willing to believe I'll learn something from this. I might not get an agent. I'll learn something from this. You might end up getting an agent, by the way. But like that you will, so willingness to shift from I need to look, feel, be a certain way, especially that feel one. That feel one is tricky. I need to feel a certain way before I can do this. Um, I say that because I think a lot of, you know, all of all creative people, I think, have been uh, seduced by, I want to do it when I'm inspired. And Madeline, it's an Angle, enemy. The author, that yeah, 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 yeah. is an enemy yes, to the actor totally. and to the creative. Totally. Yeah, it doesn't mean you have feeling, to, like, never, yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't never help you. But Madeline LaEngle, the author of A Wrinkle in Time, she said, inspiration strikes while you're working. So if we're waiting to be inspired, I'll see you in 10 years. Be willing to do the work. So people go to make at, makeagentswantyou.com. 
It's fantastic. And the course is called Agent Goals. And it is, it's not a one-off, it's a four-month program and you gotta be committed to do the steps. It's four months. It's Just so we're all clear, because it makes it sound like it's gonna take you four months to get an agent. It really, people have done it in 45 days. I give you the four months so that I'm alongside you through the entire process and so that you can move with the waves of resistance that might come up for you. I just don't want everyone to think it's going to take you four months to get an agent because that would be like, I don't want to take four months. I understand that. But you might also get engaged to in the middle of this process. You might suddenly see a bunch of auditions come in because you're putting yourself out there in a new way and it slows you down in the process. You might have to go on vacation. It might be your birthday, right? There could be a lot of things that could, so that's why I give the four months is like an indulgent amount of time in case you need that support. I love that yeah. you you give them process to breathe. It's not, yeah. you know, a, a two day seminar and now you're on your own that you really give them the space to, um, work on their stuff. I'm too controlling to say, go do this. No, I want to be, I need to see you every other Friday morning and see where you're at with the stuff and hold you accountable and see what you got done and tell you that's not right. And tell you, let me look at your head. Like I'm too controlling to let you do that. You know, I want to let you have a great experience in here, but I'm Papa gets nervous for you too. I want to take care of you. So that's, those calls are for me to take care of you as well. And I think actors need an outside eye for their feedback. Right. So that's, that yeah. Piece and well. accountability <laughs> is, is so important is because we're slippery. Actors are slippery. Oh. Accountability is so major. So the courses that you have, you got the, the, um, the masterclass make agents yeah. want you.com. Then you have, the agent goals. Now tell me about Audition Magnet. I saw that on your sure. website. Just so no one gets too far down the black hole here. Audition Magnet, we only enroll once a year, if that. So oh, okay. Audition Magnet, so just so that you know, it's not an ongoing course. Agent goals, you can enroll at any time. Audition Magnet, usually once a year. Audition Magnet is devoted to your casting profiles because your casting profiles is the number one track that we run all of your auditions on. And so that is about making them all look good on all the different casting sites that we use. Um, and that you, we open them rolling for that usually once a year. So agent goals is not just for new actors, but uh, you had mentioned that you had an actress from Grey's Anatomy who was yeah. looking for representation. Yeah. So I, am, am I okay in saying it is also for veteran actors? My actors who are in the 50 plus age range see better success than anyone else. And everyone sees success. So just so we're clear, I want to make sure the actors who are listening, who may think of themselves in the third act, or they took a break, or if you took a break from acting, no matter what age you are, or it's been a decade, or you're up, you're getting, you feel like you're getting up there in the age, right? I need you to hear me right now. Agents and managers want you. That is a story that is keeping you small. It doesn't mean that I'm trying to pretend that the business is putting you on screen as much as you should be. I am not pretending there's representation. There's not ageism in this business. But what I'm telling you from the numbers, from the data on my end, actors in that category get reps and get multiple meetings all the time. So the story that you might have around getting representation, at least put that on the burn pile. You and I can still be mad at the system for not putting more people on screen that look like you or sound like you or are your age or whatever. But we need to know their agents and managers, they are not playing that part. They're not believing into that right now. They are getting, they are saying yes to actors in that space in their career. And what to me, I'll just say is really exciting. When you are, let's say in that let's call that the upper age bracket right now for now, for this conversation, right? You have such juicy stuff you've done in your career that we get to put in position in a way where a manager or agent can understand it and can get excited about it and can believe in the legacy you've already started to leave or the mark you've already started to make. And guess what? The mofos who are not going to recognize that, thank God they'll say no to you because you don't want to be with some manager agent who doesn't respect what you have done in this business so far. And the ones who do want to respect that will rise to the top and will say, will you take a meeting with me? By presenting yourself in this way, you let the agents who are not meant for you to self-select themselves out of the process and the ones that are meant for you to redeem themselves, to reveal themselves, I should say. And that is the what we have to believe into is because we're going to start, we're going to cut such a sharp shape as to who you are. Be so clear on who you are and what you have to bring to the table that the ones who aren't meant for you will go away. And the ones who are meant for you will ask for a meeting. That is what I want for those people to hear. Agent goals is also for hyphenated people. 
Yes. Yeah. So writers. So yeah, it so doesn't a lot matter of, if you're yeah. just an actor, but if you're an actor, mm -hmm. producer, writer, um, the course works just as well for you. 